Rugby league legends have been honoured at the annual Men of League Ball at the Star in Sydney, where the Premiership Trophy was officially unveiled as the Proven Summons Trophy. Norm Proven and Arthur Summons were among over 500 distinguished guests who attended the exclusive event. They spoke of how humbled they are by the gesture. I just hope that we get the halos that we are required to have to hold such a a position that Telstra have stood down from. I'd like to thank them also for, for their action, because this wouldn't be possible for Arthur and I uh, without that. The historic image of the gladiator embrace between the two, taken by the late Fairfax photographer John O'Grady, has been a feature of every Premiership trophy since 1982. And without him taking that photo, Norm and I would be for forgotten years ago. So to John O'Grady, I'd like you to put your hands together for a wonderful photographer and a wonderful man. The two rugby league heroes were joined by their respective 1963 teammates for what was a 50-year reunion since that unforgettable occasion when Wests and St George battled it out on the muddied Sydney cricket ground pitch during the grand final. The once rivals have now formed strong friendships. We certainly have it, all reunions, like we always talk about the grand final and everything. But as they always say, have a look at the scoreboard, never look at the favourite, it won't change it. But anyway, he still keeps on scoring that try all the time anyway. <laughs> Eminent rugby league commentator Ray Warren and rugby league legend Keith Barnes were inducted into the Men of League honour roll. I'm, I'm just absolutely honoured and so <laughs> happy that I'm being honoured tonight by the Men of League at the same time as one of my dearest friends. The honorees uh, is probably one of the great segments of our, of our organisation and uh, I certainly look forward to it uh, every year uh, because we do put some of the, well, like I said, some of the great champions of our game are always up here. The Men of League Foundation supports the rugby league community by providing assistance to individuals and their families if they fall on times of hardship. I guess not only um, I guess my family there, but you know the rugby league community, uh, you know, will be there for me. Uh, like we, like they were there when when I was playing. So um, you know, like I said, it's a great concept and uh, yeah, something I like to you know lend my hand to in, in the future. So Nullivar joined fellow retiring NRL stars Matt King, Steve Turner, Nathan Fien, and Michael Henderson on stage as they were presented with a bronzed boot each wore during their careers as a gesture of thanks for their contribution to the game. Tonight's such a wonderful occasion and for me to be a part of it is, is really, really special. My career has been without doubt the best ride of my life and uh, it's sad that it's coming to an end but I'm so glad I can share it uh, tonight with my beautiful wife. They are among 20 players from 11 clubs retiring from the NRL at the end of the 2013 Telstra Premiership season. Amy Lindsell, NRL News.